Today, solar panel efficiencies continue to increase and some yeah. of our current solar modules are over 22%. 22%, Larry, that doesn't sound like a whole lot. It does seem low, but low efficiency levels may not be as big of a deal as you think. So let's examine how solar panels work and how their efficiency affects your system size and the cost of your system. So Larry, let's dig into it. First of all, what does efficiency mean when it comes to solar panel efficiency and why is that important? So solar panel efficiency is you have a certain amount of light hitting your solar panel. Right. How much of that light or how much of the available energy are you actually converting to electricity? Okay. So like we mentioned, 22% is kind of on the high end right now, which means that out of all the light, all the energy hitting your solar panel, 22% actually gets converted. Now, this matters because, well, for various reasons, but the main reason is that it dictates how much space you need for your project. Right. So if you have a big chicken house roof and you have plenty of space, this doesn't really matter that much. You just need to add more panels. Right. And the trick is those lower efficiency panels are actually cheaper. Right. Sometimes you might be able to get away with a cheaper system with lower efficiency panels, cheaper right. overall. However, if you have a small space and you're trying to get as much power as possible, then you want the higher, as high efficiency as possible. Well, let's talk about energy efficiency gains because I remember 10 years ago or so, panels we were working with were in the 12, 14% uh, efficiency range. And now, as you're saying, they're, they're up there in the 20s. Yeah, I mean, over, a, let's say, a 15-year period, they probably increased their efficiency by like 50%. Right. Which is significant. And that increase is just small incremental technology changes, Warren. There's not been, we're, we're using very similar technology. I say similar in the components. But over the years, manufacturers have figured out how to squeeze a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. It's not been a massive technological breakthrough. It's just been incremental changes over time. So how Larry, when we're talking about efficiency, uh, and you're talking about getting the light through the glass and uh, through the silicone and convert it into electricity, how is that impacted when you change the materials from glass to ceramic tiles or other surfaces? So obviously you want to let as much light through as possible yeah. while still having protection, right? Like right. you want to protect from hail and, and the elements and all that. So you want to you want to let as much light through as possible. That's one thing. The other thing is you want to use as much of the panel as possible. So some right. of the old panels would have had you could see the lines between the cells. You could see little diamonds. Yep. They're trying to use as much of that space as possible. Trying to instead of moving the electricity along the surface of the module, trying to move it along the back of the cell, so that you're able to capture as much electricity as possible. So those are some of the things that they're doing. Um, in addition, you know, we could talk about bifacial modules now getting some power off the backside, especially for ground mounts. Right. So there's, they're not just the front side, but they're, they're thinking about the whole module, the whole solar project, how can we get more power? Right, right. So today, for the most part, commercially available solar panels that we sell are in the 20, 22, 23% range. Between 20 and 22 is typically where we're at, and some are between 22 and 23 on the higher end. Okay. How does solar compare to maybe the efficiency of other energy sources, renewable sources, such as nuclear or even coal, natural gas? Yeah, so nuclear would be considered a renewable source by sure. some. Um, natural gas and coal obviously would not. But there you're looking more in the 30 to 40 percent efficiency range. I think this is something that a lot of people don't know, is that you know a, a coal-fired plant you might only get about one third. So the, f the fuel that you put into the plant, you only get about one third of that out in energy. Right. Um, the challenge there is that whatever's wasted is, you know, it might be heat, it might be pollution. With solar, if you waste sunlight, it's no big deal. Right. It's not, it's not going to be an issue to the environment. Obviously, you want to get as much as you can out of your solar panel, but it's not like it's going to cause a problem. Sure. And then really quickly, the efficiency of nuclear and natural gas. Nuclear is about mid-40s and natural gas is somewhere in the low 30s as well. You know, when we're talking about efficiency of solar panels, we're talking about efficiency in year one when you turn the mm -hmm. system on. How efficient are they 25 years from now? So that's a little bit of an unknown, but what we've seen 
in past technologies and what we're seeing currently with our systems, it's about a half percent degradation per year. That's kind of what's accepted in the industry. So a 22% efficient panel today might be 80% of that in year 25. Right. So instead of being 22%, it might be more like 16, 17, 18% efficient at that point. Sure. But if you have a solar system and you see a uh, more than a half a percent de uh, reduction in year two or year three, you probably shouldn't freak out because weather patterns uh, can change. Anything can happen. You want to look at it over a longer period of time. Yep. So we're trying to look at the whole picture, Warren. We're right. trying to look at how many kilowatt hours are we going to provide to our customers in a 10-year period. Right. And we're trying to structure that, keeping in mind the weather patterns, keeping in mind efficiencies, keeping in mind shade. We're trying to take all those factors into account. So you're going to have some down years, some good years. You might be off for a bit of time because your, your inverter's down or whatever. Degradation, the whole nine yards. We're trying to look at that whole package. Sure. All right, and then finally, Larry, what are some innovation or future trends that we're seeing in terms of efficiencies? Well, there's probably things out there that we're not aware of. Yeah. Um, there's new, like we said, there's new technologies coming all the time. Module manufacturers are very motivated to produce the most efficient module because they can command a price premium for that module. Sure. So I expect the march to continue. You know, in 15 years, we went from about 14% to about 22%. Could we be in the 35% range in 10 years from now? Quite possibly. Sure. Let us know what you think. Do you still think 20% efficiency levels seem low after watching this video? Leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know. Also, if you want to learn more about the top solar panels, how they compare in terms of cost and efficiency, we'll have that right here.